Hi, I'm Gabby, and welcome to Gabbing with Gabby. In this series, we sit down with fellow artists who brought their knowledge and talent to the world via the internet. It's a chance for them to put down their brushes, step away from their easels, and to talk about themselves. And it's also a great opportunity for all of us to get to know them a little bit better. Our guest today is Matt. Matt, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Matt. Uh, I've been oil painting since probably July of last year. So you're fresh. You're new at this, huh? Yeah, at the oil painting. Yes, I am. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um, and can you tell us where you are from? I'm from Pennsylvania. Okay. Awesome. Um, and so you just started oil painting fairly recently. Is that your favorite medium or do you have other mediums that you prefer to use? I would say oil painting is my new favorite because it's just so much easier to work with. Cause I used to do watercolor, which watercolor is if you, you have to get it right on the first try. And if you don't, you kind of have to either figure out how to fix it somehow or just start over. But uh, yeah, I, I used to like watercolor though, but it's kind of tedious. <laughs> and then I was into acrylics. And then before that, I used to draw a whole bunch and did charcoal drawings. And oh, I used the the, the, the wax crayons and all that, the oil crayons or whatever they are. Uh, mm -hmm. I did, it, it's just been a long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and how did you get into art? Um started probably when I was about 12. Uh, I went to visit my dad and he uh, brought out this box and he had all these old drawings that he did uh, from when I was a little baby. Um, he had those drawings there and I was looking through them. I was like, did you do these? He's like, yeah. And I was like, these are really good. And uh, I was like, wow. And I, I kept saying, wow, I'd like to draw like that someday. And he's like, yeah, I mean, you practice and you might get that good. So that's where I started. That's where I got the kickoff started was I saw my dad's drawings and I was like, man, I want to do that. That's what I want to do. So I started mm -hmm. practicing when I was probably, I think it was like I was 12 or something. And, and I just started doodling. And then <laughs> I have a funny little story about that is uh, in school, it was probably about seventh grade, fast forward a little bit, but in seventh grade, uh, it was in science class and I was, you know, just doodling and I was paying attention, but I was also doodling at the same time. And my science teacher came over and he's like, oh, excuse me, <laughs> Mr. Coons, um, what are you doing there? And I'm like, I'm um, just doodling. He's like, okay, see me after class. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I'm, think, I'm thinking the worst, you know, you get in detention, you get in something. I go to him and he's like, so what, uh, you like to draw, huh? I'm like, yeah, like real nervous. I was like, oh no. And he asked me, and then he, he does like a complete 180 and he's like, well, would you be able to draw a picture for me? I'm like, wait a minute, this was going in a whole different <laughs> direction. So he asked me to draw a picture of his dog for him. He brought a picture and he wanted me to draw like a photo, like a picture of his dog for him and I'm like I can do that <laughs> um so I did and he was like that, that's amazing and then another teacher wanted me to do it and it kind of like I don't know blew up a little bit from there <laughs> and uh he I would show him my new drawings and everything as I was doing them he's like you know what I think you need a binder to put those in uh you're getting quite the collection and I'm like okay so he gave me this binder and he wrote uh I actually have that binder right here um this binder right here he wrote my name on the binder side <laughs> And he wrote on the inside of it, uh, there's a little sticker that says, to Matt, best of luck. And he wrote the date. It's like 2003 or something. Like <laughs> but yeah, I started amassing all these drawings I did. Like I started drawing and like, kind of a long story. I'm sorry. but um, <laughs> So I would draw, my uncle had this big, huge book of these old cars, these pictures of these cars. And I was like, oh, I want to try to draw those. And like, you know, I was into detail and like I had a little mechanical pencil and I was like, doing all the chrome work and stuff with pencil. And I'm like, man, this is tough. <laughs> but mm -hmm. yeah, I started out with that. And from there, as I got into like different things, I got like fixated on them, like watercolor. I was like, Ooh, this is pretty cool. And uh, I did that for a while. And then in high school we were doing, oh my, all kinds of stuff. I can't even remember, but we were, oh, still lifes. And I'm like, well, that's pretty neat. And then uh, the teacher actually saw how, like, cause I was progressing and uh, she, <laughs> She actually wanted me to help her teach her class whenever I was in. I'm like, wow, this is different. <laughs> okay. So that's, yeah. And up to this point, I've just been on and off. I've been doing a lot of art stuff. And then I took a break. Um, and then I recently just got back into it just like last year. <laughs> mm -hmm. And why oil? Um, the oil, well, I, when I got back into it, I was like, I think we had acrylic or tempera paint or something like that. And I was like, man. And I saw on, because I was watching YouTube and I saw there's a guy on there. I used to, I forget which channel it is, but he does acrylic paintings. And I'm like, Oh, that's really cool. I should try to do that. 
you know, and I, I tried and I'm like, no, this isn't work, working out that well. And I'm like, eh. so then I saw, and you know, in the recommended, like when you're watching something, it recommends something similar to that, like that you might be interested in. Well, there was a thing for Bob Ross. And I saw that. I was like, oh, I haven't seen that guy in forever. So I was like, I clicked on it and I watched it. And I was like, wow, he makes it look so easy. I want to do that. So that's what my new thing was. I was like, I want to try that, but I got to get the right material. So I, that's you know, Bob Ross and uh, Bill Alexander. I used to see him on TV, but them, them two really got me under the oil painting. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so let's see. Let me look at my questions. Um, how many pieces do you think you've painted in oil since you started? Oh, since I started, I don't think it's a lot. It's probably probably 50 or 60, I think. Mm -hmm. Oils, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's plenty, though. I mean, that, that's a fair amount. That's less than a yeah. year, so that's pretty good. I'm a piling a uh, stack, um, but I'm trying to figure out how to where to put them. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Do you sell any of your work? I do, occasionally, whenever somebody's mm -hmm. in it. Um, I try to, but um, recently we just started doing um, going to events like uh, vendor events and stuff like that. Uh, we just started this year and uh, it's been pretty cool just hanging out and seeing all the other artists out there and everything and what they're mm -hmm. doing. Mm -hmm. Boy, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do a lot of that too. Um, what do you do in the real world for work? I work as a mail clerk in a mail room. Awesome. <laughs> it's comfy. Yeah. I work for Medicare. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's not quite as artistic. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's all right. Pays the bills. That's the important part. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, so you just recently started your YouTube channel. Yeah. I literally just started it like last week or something. Yeah. Yeah. So you're brand new. You and I had had a little chat beforehand about you starting this and I was like, yeah. do it, do it. Just trying to push you into it. So yeah. yeah. Why? What is the motivation there? Oh, because I think it would be cool if I like, because a lot of people are like friends and stuff are like, wow, how long did it take you to do this? Or how did you do this? I'm like, it's hard to explain, so let me show you. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I see all these other, like all the friends I made in the group there, uh, they all have YouTubes. I'm like, maybe I should try that, you know? Mm -hmm. And try it, because everybody, whenever they see my stuff, they're like, oh, you should really put this out there. You should try to get out there somehow. I'm like, oh, I don't know how, but I'll try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, mainly I just wanted to see if I could do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think, do you think that you have any ideas that are going to be unique that are going to kind of set you apart? Maybe, uh, I try to do some, like, if I see people are doing a bunch of mountains, I'll skip over and I'll do, like, seascapes or something. Like, I I like the style of painting, but everybody does this, like, usually usually about the same um, style of stuff. And I'm like, I'm going to try something. I don't want to kind of veer off and do that style, mm -hmm. but I want to do some different things. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. different, like, I did mm -hmm. one, a Mars landscape. Um, I'll post that sometime, but... I did a Mars landscape with a little UFO and like two astronauts and stuff like that. Like just kind of a little bit different, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, um, yeah. um, let's see. And so you've been doing art for basically most of your life. Mm -hmm. How long do you plan to oil paint? Oh, I plan on doing that for the rest of my life now. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy it. It's a lot easier to work with. Uh, I was intimidated by it when I was trying to do it in high school. Cause I was like, wow, this is messy. And I'm like, and forever to dry which it, it takes longer than what i'm used to but um because i think the first oil painting i did i was like oh it's done and i grabbed it oh but, no. <laughs> no but yeah that was fun i was like oh no i thought i ruined it and it's, it was fine <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh that's funny that's uh, really funny um <laughs> out of all the different like types of landscapes that there are on earth or other planets what is your favorite thing to paint i do like the mountains uh mm -hmm. They are pretty cool to do, like, just to see, like, the, my favorite part is doing the knife breaking, which I'm still working on, but, like, usually when I do it, it starts looking like I, I'm icing a cake, and I'm like, oh, no, I gotta take the pressure off, but uh, mm -hmm. that's usually my favorite part is doing the mountain scenes and stuff. Mm -hmm. When you first started doing this, was there anything that really came naturally to you? Um, Probably the water, water scenes, like the seascapes, because I used to paint those a lot with, with the watercolor, and I had a basic idea of how to do it, but since I'm using a new medium, I'm like, oh, just tweak it a little bit. And mm -hmm. so those have been going pretty good. Mm -hmm. Was there anything that was specifically difficult for you? Yeah. Uh, learning the bushes and the trees, like to get the, uh, the pink stick on there without making mud. Like when yeah. I first started my first one, I, I still have it. It, it, it is a mud slide. <laughs> <laughs> it's mud. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
getting used to because he always says, oh, thin paint to a thick paint and yeah. thin, load the brush. But I did that and I was like, I, my mistake was, was I was smashing into the canvas. I would, would like light pressure. I was like, just like cramming it on there. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of it now, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that is tricky, actually. Yeah. It, it's, it's a delicate thing. Um, mm -hmm. You talked about sort of seeing some Bill Alexander, some Bob Ross, but as artists, what artists really inspire you? Oh, there's there's a lot of them, but I'll narrow it down to like maybe four. Uh, I'd say Bram Bevins, Steve Ross, um, Dale Cullen, and uh, Jeff. I, I cannot pronounce his last name. She Avon. Yeah, none of us can. <laughs> pretty cool. He's pretty good. But yeah, for like my Mount Rushmore of artists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm thinking about changing his last name to Pepperoni because I know it's something Italian. <laughs> it's like maybe we can all remember it that way. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> uh, he's great, though. He's, he's really great. He is. Yeah, definitely. Um, Let's see. Do you have any artists, pre-1900 artists that you really like? I like uh, Van Gogh. His style was pretty cool, and it was almost like the wet on wet, I guess, because he loaded that paint on so thick it was still wet. So when he would do other stuff, it was it was kind of like the wet on wet technique, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love colors and just the way he used the brush strokes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Major brush strokes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Do you have any other hobbies outside of doing art? Yes, I play music and I sing. Uh, I play the guitar. I have about seven guitars uh, that are actually right back here, uh, or six guitars and a bass guitar. I tried to learn bass guitar, but I'm like, eh, guitar is my thing, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Did you teach yourself to do that, or did you take lessons? I taught myself. Uh, probably around, it was weird, because around the same time I was getting into art, then I started listening to music, and I heard the Beatles for the first time, and I was like, ooh. I want to learn how to play guitar like them. <laughs> and so that journey started. So I took a break from art for a while and was concentrating on learning music and teaching mm -hmm. myself how to play. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that was me in my career too with playing guitar, but it was um, collective soul. But as it turns out, I can't play a guitar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> so oh. I, I admire people people like you that can play instruments. I really do. Yeah. 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 I, uh, Actually, took. I was going to do the talent show for senior year, and I backed out. I was a chicken. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Stand, standing in front of all those people? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, no, no. Yeah. It's tough. It takes a certain kind of person to be able to get on a stage and, you know, go yeah. for it. So, yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. When you first started, is there anything that you wish you had known about oil paint? Um how to clean it up after like because like i didn't actually it was weird because i was trying to figure out how to clean the brushes and all that and i'm like well i don't want to use paints there to clean my brushes i'm going to do it another way and my mistake was i was using the oil base and it was liquid white and i was like oh just clean my water and i'm like oh, <laughs> that did not go well <laughs> uh but uh yeah i was like man why aren't my brushes getting clean <laughs> i was like and i looked again i'm like oh that's why okay so mm -hmm. I did that and yeah, the cleanup process, that was, I had paint all over my, like all up my arm somehow. And I'm like, oh, the palette's right here. How do I get paint up here? You know, stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, that stuff travels. <laughs> but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like I had an idea, but I'm like, I never really knew how messy it can be if you're not careful. <laughs> yeah. Cause it, it absolutely can be. Did you go to using water mixables then, or do you use paint thinner? Uh, I, was trying, I did do the paint thinner. I got this stuff. It was like uh turpinoid natural or something like that, that I saw. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to tell you that stuff does not smell good at all. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like, like strong, like, I don't even know. It's like, it's supposed to be natural, like orange scent, but it's, it's, oh, it's strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I did use that and the time, the bottle's so tiny. I'm like, that ain't going to last me very long. So I tried, I think I got regular, um, you know, odorless minerals, mineral spirits. And I'm like, it works, but I just, I'm not comfortable because I, I I have this this room here and I'm like it was winter time and I'm like I don't really have a lot of ventilation in here mm -hmm. and I'm like I want to paint but I don't want to do that and breathe that in and you know so I was worried about that so then I saw Dale uh, posted up a video about uh, the water mixables mm -hmm. and I started asking him stuff about it and I'm like how does this does it work and stuff so uh, uh, he talked me through some stuff like what kind of brushes and then I watched his video of course and I've been using those ever since and that's I'm probably gonna stick with those. Uh, mm -hmm. and do you, do you usually use the Windsor Newton 
the, yeah. the artisan line. Yeah. Actually, I haven't tried any other brands yet. Okay. Uh, liked there's in it because I, I hear there's Gambler 1980s good and mm -hmm. uh, there's a Van Gogh brand that I heard was yeah. pretty good, but really I just good, yeah. don't know much about other brands yet. Yeah. Um. Uh, so I've used a few. I have um. Uh, I think it's maybe Rembrandt or something. I have a tube of it. I haven't even opened it yet to try it. Um, but otherwise, there's a brand called Duo Aqua, and they have a ton of colors. But oh, I wow. find that their paint almost seems to, like, spoil over time. Oh. And it's really expensive. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. The Windsor yeah. Newton's the right place to go for that. Really, it is. Yeah. And I think I usually get mine from Amazon, but I think you can get it from Jerry's Artorama for Artorama, yeah. a little bit cheaper. But, yeah. yeah. Black, I think. Mm -hmm. Nothing's cheap at Black. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. That, I think I went there a couple times and I'm like, whew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, uh, tax return there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know it. I, I buy, I use, um, for my thinner, I use Gamsol because um, those odorless mineral spirits are never odorless. So I use That's Gamsol, cool. but I buy like three or four gallons at a time. So it's, yeah, every time I go there, it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think I was looking at that on Amazon and it's like 50 bucks for a gallon or something. Gallon. So I'm like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, or it would be or how much it would be other places. And yeah. Stuff. And that's about what it is. But it's one of those things like if you take care of it, it actually lasts, you know, longer. But I think overall health wise, in the end, the water mixables are still better for your health. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's words. And then like we have a dog, too. So I'm like, uh, and me smack it like I do beat the devil out of the brush, but I do it in the can. But I don't have a lid on the can. So yeah. whatever spray comes out, it's like, yeah. So I'm like. I feel better with these water mixables though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let's see here. What advice do you have for anybody who wants to just get started into oils? I would say uh, just keep practicing and you will get better at the more you practice because I got discouraged a lot. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll do and I have to kick myself out of my rut and I'm like, you got this, you know, you know what you can do. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you got to remind yourself, you're just, you know, if you're starting out, uh, like Rome wasn't built in a day. So mm -hmm. gotta yeah. keep at it. And uh, you might get frustrated and just take a break, walk away, whatever you got to do, come back at it. Like if you're working on a painting and it's not going the way, this actually just happened to me the other day. I was working on a painting and it just was not coming out the way I thought it was in my mind. And I got frustrated. I was like, okay, I'm not enjoying this right now. I'm going to walk away. Mm -hmm. So I came back, I think it was the next day and I, I busted it out. And it was that purple one with the mountain, the orange mountain or whatever, mm -hmm. that one there. I got frustrated. I'm like, I'm just going to finish this tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just you know, come back to it, but don't give up. You know? mm -hmm. I think that's really good advice. Um, Cause I, I think that that can happen. I think when it's either when you start and you get frustrated or once you've been painting for a long time and you get frustrated. Cause yeah. like when I started, I would step back and I'm like, even though this sucks, it's, it's amazing. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah definitely. And give yourself some grace. Like I'll get I'll, like, it, you know, it won't turn out the way I think it is or like, Oh man, I, I noticed I made a little mistake there. And like my wife Kendra, she'll come back and be like, "Wow, that is awesome!" And I'm like, "You don't, you don't see the mistake?" She's like, "What mistake? What are you talking about?" Or anybody else who sees it, they're like, "Wait, what? You made a mistake on this?" I'm like, "Sure, yeah, we'll say that." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's no mistakes in landscapes. That's the glory of doing landscapes. Yeah, that's the main reason why I like them because I do yeah portraits and stuff, and like, yeah, it's a lot of you have to get it right. Like, it's very strict, you know. With, getting proportions. I'm terrible at proportions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Usually when I do a, 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 a portrait, it ends up looking like a Picasso. And I'm like, mm, nah, nope. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that's kind of the struggle that comes along with anything that's not a landscape because it's like, if it's not perfect, it looks terrible. So yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but Picasso's work sold quite well. So yeah. Yeah. I still don't understand it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah no kidding. No kidding. Oh, that's funny. Okay. And I'm like, I, I tried like one or two abstracts and I'm like, this just, it's just not for me. I just, mm -hmm. I like my landscapes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for people that can do abstract work that turns out really cool, you know, cause it's yeah. like my brain just doesn't think that way. So yeah. Yeah. Like whole nother level of creativity there. So yeah. yeah. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> I know it. Um, okay. So I'm going to have a couple bonus questions for you. <clears throat> okay. What is something non paint or art related that makes you unique? Oh, I think my uh, ability to adapt. Uh, as much as I say that I don't like change, I seem to do it a lot um, throughout the course of my life. There's been a lot of changes and stuff I had to get used to. And I I do like the idea of doing one thing and being comfortable, but then I get, like, I don't know, I get bored with something. And I'm like, 
I want to try this now, or I want to try that. So mm -hmm. that would think uh, the ability would, to adapt. Yeah, awesome. Um, okay, next question. <clears throat> if there was a place, one place on Earth that you could visit, where would it be and why? Oh, probably Ireland, because I'd like to see all the old castles and stuff like that over there. And it's like like the beautiful green hills and stuff, just like all the landscape over there. Mm -hmm. I think that yeah. would be yeah yeah um i haven't been to ireland but you're you're right it's really green it's it's beautiful yeah <laughs> i see pictures of it and it reminds me of what it looks like here right after the rain falls you know what i mean how the grass almost glows yeah exactly it's like got this very bright vibrance to it i'm like man that's cool <laughs> yeah it's beautiful absolutely okay well i think we're just about done do you have any final thoughts that you'd like to share with all of us um i don't think so i think i'm good but uh yeah i i oh i did i i been watching your videos on your stuff i saw the one where you open it up to the paint you know i thought to do that you know to get the most out of the paint i'm like wow that's actually really smart <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um i don't actually um a little side story on that how that happened is so i'm a historical reenactor and everything that we have with us you know that the public sees is supposed to be what we call period correct right so um oil paint tubes were made about 150 years ago and the stuff that i do is before 150 years ago and so I'm like, okay, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to put it in glass jars so I can bring it with to camp. Well, <clears throat> they all dried out. I don't recommend anybody do that. That's a terrible idea. But slicing open the tubes, that's where that actually started. And I see this all the time where people are like, you got to, you know, roll it or use this or do that. I'm like, do that all you want, but then fillet that tube open and get every drop of it out, you know? Yeah, because that stuff's not cheap. So. No, it's not. No. <laughs> you, know? you throw away a tube and you're like, I know there's leftovers still in there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Like, that's really cool. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Happened by accident, but it worked out good. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah. Where can people find you if they want to find you online? Where can they find you? Uh, they can find me on Facebook at my um, art page at MK Inspired Art. And I, I just got a TikTok. So it's MK Inspired Art at one TikTok. And just recently, YouTube, MK Inspired same name, <laughs> MK Inspired Art. Awesome. And are you doing um, more time lapses? Are you doing um, real time? What are you doing? I like to do a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, the idea of doing time lapses, because it's really cool to fit like maybe two hours worth of painting into like what five minutes or something or whatever, you, however, you know, long yeah. you can be. Um, but I also like doing the lives. Those mm -hmm. are pretty cool because people get to actually see it happening in real time. Mm -hmm. um, I've been watching a lot of Bram Evans. He does a lot of live stuff and I'm like, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And I I thought I would take, I'm comfortable doing it now, but like, I thought it would take a long time before I was comfortable in front of a camera, knowing that there's people watching me. I'm like, oh, no pressure. Right. No <laughs> pressure. <laughs> but then I start getting so focused on what I'm doing that I'm like, not that I'm blocking it out, but it's like, it's not as much of a hindrance, I guess. It's not really mm -hmm. on. It's heavily. I'm like, I'm just like, eh, I'm just going to do my thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. pretty yeah, it's kind of a good attitude to have. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I much appreciate it. Um, and uh, I plan to do future episodes. So you're going to be one of the people I'm going to hit up. I want to see where your YouTube and, you know, online career goes. So I'm, I'm following you. So. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And your work is really good too, by the way. Thank you very much. Yours is too. Thanks. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Sorry if something in my throat. Um, so I think that's it for our interview today, guys. If anybody has any questions or comments, put it in the comment section of the videos and we'll do our best to address them. Again, I'm Gabby and this is Matt. Um, again, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it every time. Um, I can't do this without the artists that are willing to come forward. So I very much appreciate it. So, yeah. Thank you for having me. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Until next time, guys, I really do hope that you fall in love with oil painting and art just as much as we have. Bye now. Thank you.